Greetings Cyber Dogs, this is Rendog coming at you from my very humble bedroom in this Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast series. In the previous episode we were making an automatic furnace room and in this episode we're going to start working on a pump that is going to suck out lava from the bottom of Minecraft that we can use to create energy guys. And as you can see, this is my bedroom that I used to get established after I found Rentown and it is freaking sweet. I've got a chest here filled with the starter jazz and man, I have just come back from a harvest also. And uh, look at this man, one harvest gives me about 70 carrots, about 60 to 64 potatoes, um, about, wow, a ton of raisin. Well, this raisin I had actually in my inventory already. So about 90 resin and about uh, 90 cactuses and about 60 wheat and that is just from one harvest um, in Rentown. As you can see here are the, the wheat fields and the carrot fields and the potato fields and stuff are over here. Here they are. And of course there is the rubber tree factory over there or the, the rubber tree plantation if you will. And uh, all the way over here is the cactus farm where I get my cactuses. But guys, we have a whole butt ton of other stuff to do in this series, uh, in this episode also. And man, I just wanna thank every single one of you for all the amazing feedback that you guys gave me in the last episode, man. I was so freaking impressed with the incredible amounts of comments that the last video got and all the amazing and positive feedback that you guys gave me. You guys are really enjoying the series, which is, which is just really awesome. I'm so happy about that, guys. I'm so happy that you're enjoying the series because um, I am really, really enjoying this mod pack. And, you know, I really want to take you guys with me on this journey. And, um, you know, I'm just going to smelt down some of the stuff that we got in here. And uh, let's just make sure that we are smelting as much as we can. Um, you know, we don't want to smelt too much stuff. Um, but, man, what else, what else are we doing in this episode? Well... We are going to be upgrading these blocks into into panels. Basically, one of the, the, the biggest um, suggestions from the previous video was to try and upgrade the look of this a bit and to change these blocks into panels. And uh, also, one of the most amazing bits of advice that you guys gave me, a lot of you guys, in fact, gave me, was to use a project table. And basically, what a project table is, um, it's basically a crafting table on crack. <laughs> that is the only way that I can really describe what a project table is. And um, we're going to be making all of that in this episode, guys. So we better get cracking because we've got a ton of freaking work to do. So first of all, why don't we work on these, um, these blocks? So let's get them up. And uh, what we're going to do, guys, is make panels. Now, what are panels, some of you guys are asking? Well, they are actually really thin blocks. And... Uh, that is one of the really sweet things in this um, this mod pack. But in order to make panels, we have to cut marble blocks, right? So literally with a saw, we have to cut these marble blocks. So if we have a look at the recipe for a saw, um, we are going to make a ruby saw. You can make saws out of diamonds, um, green sapphires, rubies, uh, sapphires, and iron. But only certain uh, ones of them actually cut through marble blocks. So I've got all the stuff that we need here to cut through this marble. And uh, why don't we make one of these freaking saws? Guys, I tell you what, man, being organized in Feed the Beast is, it, it's, I feel so calm right now, man. Seriously, I'm like, I'm so relaxed. I'm just so like in the mood to play Feed the Beast. You know what I'm saying? Because I've spent about half an hour organizing everything. As you can see, this is like our project, <laughs> our project chest over here. Um, got a whole bunch of other stuff. The, this is the stuff that we need to make the, the, the project table. Man, this just feels so good that everything is organized. I'm so proud of myself. Um, anyway, so guys, how do we make um, these panels? Well, I think what you got to do is you got to put the handsaw in the crafting table and then stick the marble above it. And now that makes a marble slab. And then what you can do is cut the marble slab into marble panels. Now, I don't know if um, what's going to look better. Why don't, we, why don't we have a test? So this is a marble slab. As you can see, you've got to sort of, um, you've got to work it, man, to place it. So that's what a marble slab is going to look like. Uh, let's get the other one. And this is going to be the panel. Um, and I reckon, I reckon we probably go with a panel, right? The panel's looking really sweet, actually. So why don't we do that, man? All we got to do is cut a whole bunch of these. Bam! And then cut a whole bunch of these. Um, and then let's have a look. Let's not cut too many um, of these things. Let's have a look what it's going to look like. Oops! Man, these things are quite difficult to place, actually. You've got you to gotta be quite careful. You can't just, you know, like with the normal blocks, you can just place them as fast as you possibly can. So what about something like that? Let's have a look. 
let's do it for all of them oh and by the way guys i added man i, I even forgot to tell you um i added another wing to the furnace room so we've added another what uh, four furnaces and if you want to see how i did that go watch dog mail number 13 um i i've recorded the making of this wing of the furnace room in dog mail number 13 so Go have a look at that, guys. Dogmail is a show that I do on this channel where I read out emails that you guys sent me. So it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty sweet, and you get to see some of the off-camera work that you might, well, not see um, in the series. But any who's okay, that is looking pretty damn sweet. Oh man, you guys are so freaking smart. Um, oh man, that is epic. Now I have a, I have a thought. What happens if we do that? What happens if we did that? I mean, can we combine these to make them into a panel? Oh, we can. Sweet, man. Okay, so why don't we try this? Um, let's have a let's have a look at what this looks like. I don't know. This might not work, but let's let's give it a go. Um, that is kind of looking pretty sweet, right, people? I think that is the look that we're going to go for, actually. Um, oh man, sweet. I mean, see, this is why I love playing these games with you guys, man, because you guys are so freaking smart. You always give me such amazing ideas. And um, look at this, man. Look what look what we've done. I would never have done this if you guys hadn't spoken about these panels um, on the last video. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. It doesn't connect here. Hmm. Houston, we got a problem. All right. So that is not going to connect over there. Oh, man. That sucks. Can we do about this let's just finish it off and have a look well it was looking sweet but i think guys we're probably going to have to revert back to the the flat panels because um that corner isn't going to work and um you know there's absolutely no no ways we can <laughs> we can have it looking like that so i'm gonna uh, get these back into flat panels guys and once that is done i will bring you on the bring you back on the other side of this complaint Comply. All right, guys, we are back. And as you can see, I have now finished off the paneling of the furnace room. And I got to say, man, that is looking freaking sweet. High five to every single one of you who gave me that sweet idea. You guys are awesome. I absolutely love this. I think that it really, um, oh man, the furnace room is just looking sick. Um, right, let's put these panels down before they start getting in our way. Now, next on our list of things to do is to make the project table. So we're going to need all of this jazz over here to make the project table and uh i think we're going to leave the project table in here right because we're probably going to be getting well i don't know because a lot of the ores and stuff that are, that are going to get smelted down here are going to go into the sorting room over here so but this is kind of like our work area you know what i'm saying so i think i'll probably leave the panels in here but um well i'll leave the the project table in here so let's have a look at what the hell a project table is um, and as i was telling you guys it's basically a crafting table on crack and what you need is a chest, you need a crafting table in the middle, and then you need wood on the sides, just like that, and then you need some stones on the top, and that makes a project table. That is so awesome. And uh, I think what we're going to do is slap this project table down over here. Um, oh man, look at that. Okay, so look at this, guys. You can put materials in the project table right here right and uh, as you're building stuff say you want to build multiples of stuff i think as long as there's material in here to build the multiples you are able to do so so you know that is really really awesome um man what an awesome freaking hint again from you guys thank you so much man um project table is you know you gotta you, you, if you're playing feed the beast project table's got to be one of the first things you make the, one of the first things you make guys because it kicks so much freaking ass it is awesome um all right okay guys so our furnace room is up and running the sounds of zombies are in my freaking ears man but i think that the zombies are oh lord there's a zombie there we have an infestation where are my freaking weapons oh god i'm gonna have to hack him up with a saw <laughs> come at me you bastard you are not welcome here file comply take it Take it to the butthole! <laughs> My goodness. Uh, that zombie certainly did take a beating. Um, <laughs> okay, well, we better get some food up in our in our bellies, man. Uh, we got some baked potatoes in here, man. Mm, 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 mm. 
Oh yeah, baby. All right, so we've got a bit of a spawning problem, it seems, downstairs um, in the maintenance level. It looks like zombies are spawning in the corner here. Um, what the hell? Where did he spawn? That's pretty crazy, man. There's no ways he could have spawned here. Maybe, I don't know. Um, right, anyway, so let's have a look at... Oh, man, look at our, our project tables. Our, I mean, our um, our pumps and everything are, are going crazy. We've got a whole bunch of sweet-ass loots going on in here. Um, now, these cactuses and this glass is going to come into play very soon, guys. We're going to need all of that stuff because we need to make waterproof pipes. We are about to suck some lava out of the ass of Minecraft. And uh, to do that, obviously, we need waterproof pipes because lava is, well... A liquid. <laughs> um, not entirely sure how pipes of any kind can hold molten lava, but what ifs? <laughs> so what I've got in this chest, guys, this is our project chest for the pump room, um, is the materials to make golden transport pipes, which, tra which transports liquid the fastest, um, as well as making a pump, to, uh, a mining pump, which is going to pump out the lava from the ass of Minecraft. Um, what's going to happen is the lava is going to get, the pump is going to sit up there and the lava is going to get pumped down through here, through this access shaft, all the way into here. And then here is where we are going to be building tanks. And, and the, uh, the lava is going to um, collect in the tanks. And then up here on the top floor, we are going to have an engine that will suck the lava out of the tanks into the butthole of geothermal generators. And that is how we're going to turn our lava into freaking energy, baby. And man, it is going to be sweet. So guys, let's get this freaking thing cracking, man. We need to get a mining well. Um, and a mining well looks something like this. Um, the reason we need a mining well is because you need a mining well to make a pump, right? So first off, what we need to do is make uh, this thing. So we need six iron, an iron gear, a redstone, and a pick. Um, so we need to make an iron gear. And we need all of this stuff. So... Um, we need to make an iron gear, and the way you do that is by doing... Oh, we need to make a, a stone gear first, I think. Um, yeah, that's why That's why I brought the freaking stone The stone with me, man. Even when I'm as organized as I possibly can be, I forget what the hell I'm doing. Man, I'm such a noob. <laughs> okay, so we got an iron gear. Um, what are we looking at? We are looking at a mining wall. So let's press the question mark. Um, man, I love this question mark so much. It is the best. So we need a pickaxe in there. We need an iron gear in there. We need irons on both sides of this thing. And then we need a little redstone signal up in there. Kaplam! Mining well. And now, um, to complete the work for the pump, let's have a look. What does the pump need? The pump needs a mining well and a tank. So we've already made our mining well. All we got to do now is make our tank. And we do that with glass. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kaplam! There is the tank. And here is our pump. BAM! Now, a pump works with um, with power. So, so with redstone power or with any power that you inject into the butthole of the pump. But I think for the purposes of um, the big, you know, of this exercise, I mean, we're just starting here. Um, we're probably just going to be using redstone engines to do this. And then once we have some lava generating power, we'll be able to um, direct that power into the pump so and by the way guys this is scaffolding and uh, scaffolding acts like ladders as you can see and uh, it is just such an epic block and it's e really easy to make just you just need wood and it's really easy to break also um, and it also breaks like vines or or, or uh, you know sand or whatever so it's absolutely freaking sweet but guys let's get our pump down in the spot that it is supposed to be compliant there we go nice work okay so the pump is in place um what we're going to need to do now is get some redstone engine um, action going on up in this pump and what will happen then <laughs> is the pump is going to start injecting its proboscis and it's already doing it its proboscis is going to go all the way down this shaft all the way down into the lava below and uh it's going to start sucking up that lava once we add power to it now guys um, what we still need to do is make our waterproof golden pi uh, pipes to make sure that that lava gets sucked out as fast as humanly possible out of the pipe um, and into our reservoirs. Man, check out that proboscis. That thing is going all the way down, man. That is awesome. Um, so let's get crafting on some of these, these golden pipes. So what we need to do is make... Um, let's have a look. How do you do this again? Um, transport pipe. No, no. Waterproof. 
Golden waterproof transport pipe. Okay, so it needs golden transport pipes and uh, and cactuses, I think. Um, yeah, I think that recipe is wrong. So if we get a golden transport pipe and we put it with cactus... Okay, so let's make some waterproof pipe. I think this is how it works. So golden transport pipe plus the waterproof pipe equals golden waterproof pipe. <laughs> okay, excellent. So let's see how much of this jazz we actually need. Um, I think we're probably going to need quite a lot. So what we want to do is this, we want this pipage to, to come out of the top of the pump, right? There we go. Now we want it to come um, this way and then we want it to come down. You know, with the uh, the goal, as always, guys, keeping this jazz as neat as humanly possible. Um, we need to actually make a few more golden uh, pipes over here. So let's make, I would say, 16 more. I'm trying to be, like, much more conservative with uh, materials when I use them. Because, um, man, in my other Minecraft series, I just go cray-cray, man. I just use materials like nobody's business. And then I run out of them, and, and then I have no idea how the freak I, I ran out of them. And then I've got to go and grind them. And, man, it's a pain in the bottle. But in this series, we are being, like, as freaking um, conservative as possible, man. Oh, God, I can hear the scurrying of a spider. All right, so we just need to make probably another 16... Um, golden pipes it seems so just another four gold ingots complain and a few more um, waterproof transport pipes there we go beautiful now guys this is the very start of our lava reservoir right here um, so what's going to happen is the lava is going to get pumped up it's going to go through this golden transport pipe and then just go around this loop round and round this loop now we need somewhere for that lava to go right so and and you know, we obviously want to, to preserve as much as that, of that lava as possible. So what we're going to do is make tanks. And that is how you make a tank. Um, it's basically using glass and, you know, making it as if it is, is a normal wooden chest. And I think what we need to do is make quite a few of these tanks. Um, let's have a look how many exactly we're going to need. So I've already um, dug the holes out over here. So there's going to be one over here, one over here. And then one in the middle so here we go this is what the the this is what it's going to look like right and then one over here so and one in the middle or not no no not in, not over here not on these sides so it's just we've just got six um lava reservoirs up in this business and what's going to happen is um on top of these reservoirs we're going to have a wooden pipe and then we're going to have an engine next to the wooden pipe and that is going to suck out the lava out of the tanks into the geothermal generators that we're going to be building in the in the following episodes um, and that is how we're going to get that la turn out that lava that we are about to get into energy in this feed the beast series man i mean it is it is elementary dear watson <laughs> um oh yeah baby Okay, so there we go. We are finishing off our tanks, and that is looking epic. Okay, great stuff. Um, let's let's get a torch up in the middle of this area over here, just in case, because that looks like a prime spot for zombies to spawn. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so now, I mean, all that's left is to make sure that that proboscis is in the lava, and uh, for us to head down there, and, um, well, for us to inject some freaking power into the butthole of the, this pump and to get the lava pumping it's jazz up into the laboratory oh man this is so epic we're like a like one step closer um to getting real energy man and not just redstone energy um man i'm sure i've got some redstone engines up in this jazz somewhere let's have a look we might need to build some more redstone engines there they are yeah i knew i had some Come, you bastards! I need you! Oh, and we need some redstone torches, actually. Man, just when I thought that I had organized every possible thing, looks like I did forget something. Um, there are the redstone torches. Alright, guys, we can just drop down. Oh, we can't. Okay, so so this is a good example, guys. I just wanted to show you, actually. So the, the wooden transport pipes are going to sit here in these holes. Um, 
In fact, I think we're going to have to make these tanks just one higher, and then the wooden transport pipes are going to sit on top of them. And, um, and yeah, but that is for a future episode, man, once we've made our geothermal generators. Um, now, guys, I can hear all of you shouting at me because, you know, I <laughs> there's one more thing that I haven't mentioned from the previous episode. And uh, a whole bunch of you guys spotted that actually at the bottom of this shaft are diamonds <laughs> and um i actually I, I i haven't mined them yet because i wanted to leave i wanted to, to leave them there to see if you guys would actually spot that and uh you guys did and man was there a lot of rage that i hadn't mined those diamonds but guys do not fret we are gonna go down and get those diamonds right now um, the reason I didn't mine them is because I wanted the platform to be completely straight. And if I mined them, it would have messed up the platform. And um, I don't know, man. I don't know what was going through my mind. But the proboscis should start sucking up some lava pretty soon. But let us head down to the bottom of the lava reservoir and try and get our ass um, some diamonds, baby. Now, of course, the problem is that the diamonds are floating above lava. So, um, you know, that's one of the main <laughs> one of the main challenges we're going to have getting these diamonds. These over here are actually diamonds, guys. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is build some sort of a platform over here, I think. Um, right. So you can see the proboscis is in the lava and it is it, is, it doesn't look like it's sucking yet. Um, when it starts sucking, I think, oh, Lord. Oh, this is wood. <laughs> That's not going to work, is it? <laughs> oh, God. Um. Oh, God. <laughs> We've set the place on fire. Um, okay, so that, that was that was silly. Um, my bad. <laughs> okay, we've got some we've got some glass at least. All right, so let's make kind of like a, a pla you know an anti losing of the diamonds platform over here, and uh, let's get up here and freaking collect these diamonds. Get in my belly, diamonds! Oh God, that is beautiful. Um, this diamond pickaxe is actually getting um, quite low, so this that's this is a perfect opportunity to make a new diamond pickaxe. Bam! All right, so the proboscis is going. It doesn't look like the lava is getting sucked just yet. We might need to add another redstone engine to... Um, ooh, is that a... That's that's actually a ruby, I think. Man, there is so much jazz in our reservoir. That is awesome. <laughs> but um, I really want to check if the lava is being sucked up out of here. Um, let's have a look. Please, dear Lord, let the lava be sucking up through the pump. All right, so not yet. Um, still needs to, I think it might need a little bit, oh, no, 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 look at that, we have some lava in the reservoirs, baby, oh, this is epic, give me a freaking high five, guys, uh, let me just get these things out of my hands, because I know it hurts, <laughs> sweet, all right, guys, so we are one step closer to lava power, baby, but as you can see, man, these redstone engines are seriously, oh, god, they are terrible, um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna borrow this engine, you know, this this thing doesn't need two redstone engines, man. I mean, seriously. You know, it doesn't need to be... I mean, look, look at that. The, the coal is going back into that chest, telling me that, you know, it is completely full up anyway. And it doesn't need these engines to be pumping at full freaking blast. You know what I'm saying? All right. Man, I love this scaffolding. It's so awesome. All right. So we're going to add one more redstone engine to this pump. Hopefully, it's gonna that's going to increase the power of this bad boy just ever so slightly. Um... I mean, we could add, we could add another one over here, actually. Maybe, you know, maybe what we should do is actually add another redstone engine. Um, just add four redstone engines to this bad boy. Get this thing fired up like nobody's business. Um, and then that is going to start sucking lava out like, like freaking nobody's business, man. But as you can see, it does take quite a long time. I think that's probably because, you know, the proboscis has to go all the way to the bottom of Minecraft, man. That lava is traveling a long-ass distance to get here. And, um, but slowly but surely, these tanks will get filled up. And, man, in the next episode, we are going to be able to make the geothermal pumps in the power room of the Cyber Labs, baby. And, man, that is going to be freaking sweet. Well, guys, we've got to the end of this episode. I really hope you've enjoyed it, man. I have, I've had such a good time, man. We've made a project room, uh, project table. We've pimped out the furnace room. We are now collecting lava, getting us one step closer to freaking llama, lava, llama energy. <laughs> one step closer to llama energy. No, seriously, one step closer to geothermal lava energy, guys. In the next episode, we are going to be going back to the origins 
of this Feed the Beast series. A lot of you guys have been asking, where did you spawn? Why didn't we see spawn? We want to see how you started and uh, where you started and all of that jazz. So in the next episode, guys, I'm going to be taking you back to spawn and I'm going to be showing you a giant marble cave where we started and of course a beautiful strip mine where we managed to get all of our sweet ass leaks. But guys, this has been Rendog playing Feed the Beast. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, you know what to do. You smack that freaking like button with all the Feed the Beast fury that you have in your soul. <laughs> and guys, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're new from, new from somewhere on the interbubs, welcome to the Cyberdog Pack. Why don't you hit that subscribe button, man? We've got loads of sweet ass stuff on this channel from Let's Play Minecraft to Let's Play Mine Z to Let's Play Feed the Beast. And of course, we have a free to join um, cyber dog fan community website called dogcraft.net. Go check it out, guys. Everything's Minecraft and Ren Dog related can be found there. My friends, uh, I cannot wait to see you in the next Feed the Beast episode. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.